4-2 the final. And here again in Fredericton, New Brunswick, Ron McLean. Bob and Greg, thanks very kindly. Back in Fredericton, as you mentioned, the three stars is always selected by stars of the minor hockey scene. In our case, we're lucky to have Victoria Lynn Harris, who's a fantastic left winger midget Bruin here in the Fredericton Youth Hockey Association. Her whole family got her involved in hockey. And uh, Victoria, you love uh, hockey. You love the Montreal Canadiens. I do. And your favorite player on Montreal is? P.K. Subban. You have good taste. Uh, <laughs> Montreal, Tara, has clearly infected Fredericton. There isn't a, I don't think it's about 10 to 1, the uh, Habs <laughs> fans to every other team. I don't know if it's the legacy of the Fredericton Canadians or what it is, but when you come out yeah. east, it's kind of all it is. And you, you share that in common as well. It's your favorite team. This oh, is yeah. Chaz Harvey, the Nashwaxis Lions Club Lions midget double uh, A team. Yeah. You play center. You just turned 17 yesterday. Happy mm -hmm. birthday to you. Thanks. And for your birthday, you bought yourself some tickets to a Habs game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're going to, you like the Bell Center atmosphere? Oh, yeah, it's crazy. Nothing, Best drink in the NHL. Nothing better. Chaz, right? you told us about the victory the other night and uh, why you think the Canadians, I mean, we all know PK, Pacioretty, and Price, but you were saying there's some of the other guys that are rounding out their team because you're a big guy on rotisseries and yeah. fantasy pools, so you know why they're good. Why are the Habs so good this year? Well, they picked up Fleischman on that one year and they got Seven on the one year. I guess he's not doing too well, but I mean, they got all those third line guys. The third line's doing just as good as the first line. And that's what it takes to win the NHL nowadays. Victoria, I mentioned uh, your dad, uh, your family got you into hockey at the age of 12. So that's not that long ago, five no, years. So what, what was your sport uh, prior to that? Did you figure skate, do other sports? I didn't. I didn't have anything uh, before hockey, actually. But now, like after hockey, I started playing rugby and things like that. And it's uh, kind of led you to a uh, thought about your future and what you might like to do uh, after you finish school. Tell us about that. Yeah, it has. Um, I definitely, I'm definitely interested in the sport. Uh, definitely, I'm thinking kinesiology after high school, for sure. Because it's definitely leading down the science road, too, which is something that I've been thinking about. And Ch I want to point out, by the way, your fam it's your nine-year-old brother's birthday today. Yes. Your whole family's Happy here. Happy birthday, Tayas. <laughs> and Jai over there. Uh, what's next? Get in, get in here, You want to come in? Yeah, yeah. Come in. Happy birthday to you. I don't know if DQ is sponsoring hey. us tonight, but I like that they're sponsoring your team, so you, that's good. And you play <laughs> hockey, too, I understand. Yeah. The whole family plays hockey? Yeah. What's your team called? Uh, the DQ Blizzards. The DQ. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> well, happy birthday. I hope you're having a good one. This is pretty late for you, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So what's next for you after uh, well, this Well, first of all, not next, what about <laughs> this past weekend? I hear you oh, were yeah. uh, yeah. uh, Gila Fleur out there this weekend. Yeah, we had a good weekend. We got the four points. Tied for first in our league now. I got a goal and three assists against Lancaster and two goals and two assists against Ormukto. Good for you. Fantastic. Your brother's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Deeks, <laughs> shots, what's your strength? Yeah. My slap shot. I mean, my coach will be watching it there. He'll now that I shoot over the net every time. But, I mean, <laughs> one out of every ten if it hits the net, it's going in. So. Yeah, there's a good look at uh, a little bit of the best of you. Well, uh, tonight was a you know collection of great talent. Uh, Jonathan Taves, Patrick Kane, uh, they're missing Duncan Keith back there. But they found, uh, obviously, in Daly and Jarmelson, uh, just Seabrook, such a, an attack Chicago has. That's a, that's yeah. a club you wanted to win for your fantasy pool. So Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, didn't want Cam Talbot to get the win. That's about it. <laughs> you won the coin toss, uh, so you get to pick, Chaz, the number three and the number one stars tonight. So let's get to it. Who's the third star at right. United Center Chicago? Third star tonight with 34 saves from the Chicago Blackhawks and the Moncton Wildcats, Corey Crawford. <laughs> Smooth. Victoria, the second star tonight. Second star of the game would be Artemi Perinarin with those two goals in the first period. Yeah, that kind of set the tone. And finally, number one overall. Yeah, the first star is going to be Showtime. Patrick Kane, Chicago Blackhawks, one goal, three assists. We just had to take him for the first tonight. Corey Crawford is uh, our guest, David Amber at United Center. David. Fantastic game for you, especially in that second period. Before we get to your performance, what did Joel Quenville and the coaching staff have to say to the team after the second period where Edmonton was really dominating the play? I uh, didn't have to say too much. Uh, you know, we just have to get back to our game after a strong first period. I thought, uh, you know, they had a pushback. They, uh, they had a solid second, but, um, you know, we're still up and it was kind of back and forth third. So, uh, you know, that was a strong game for us. A uh, big win after a couple of tough losses. On a personal standpoint, how nice was it in a sense that second period to have that much action around you but to keep the puck out knowing the last two games were, were difficult for you? 
yeah, I kind of struggled the last last couple of games, so uh, it was uh, a little bit better today. Felt uh, felt a lot better seeing the puck, and uh, you know the D helped me out too uh, on rebounds. So uh, you know, it was a strong win for us. Corey, what is it about this team? You've been through a couple of cups with Chicago. You lose seven players, seven key players in the offseason. You reload, and you guys seem to retool and, and find your your stride. What is it about this group that allows you to do that? I think it's the the leaders in our room, uh, the guys uh, Taves, Kane, uh, Seabrook, Keith. Um, those guys, uh, you know, lead the way, and then uh, it seems like everyone just follows, uh, kind of takes after them. So, uh, great leadership, and uh, you know, everyone else that comes in, uh, you know, adapts and, and just wants to be a part of it. Corey Crawford, a huge part of this uh, win. 34 saves, 22 coming in that decisive second period that uh, held your team in check. Congratulations, and we'll send it back to Ron McLean. Thanks, Father. Oh, all right, thanks, David. Tara. <laughs> Uh, we have grown here <laughs> in the studio, so can you give us some introductions? This is uh, your family and a friend. Yeah, that's my brother, Teus. Who we and met before. Is, it's his yeah, birthday. and that's his birthday, and that's my brother, Jai, and uh, that's uh, my favorite hockey player ever, John Winters. That's his brother, Scotty. Okay. Way so to go, Scotty. That, that was quite a shout-out, but <laughs> maybe you should tell us why. Oh, why Winters <laughs> is my favorite? Yeah. He led the league in points last year. I mean, he's just a pure goal scorer and an all-star. He's got the best hands in the league. I am it's, it's coming true. back to Fredericton <laughs> just to watch your team play. That's as simple yeah. as that. Thanks a lot, Victoria. Fantastic. Chazan, congratulations. It's a great Norwegian name. And uh, <laughs> just super job tonight. And uh, congratulations on uh, your Montreal Canadian successes. Thanks. <laughs> Chicago Blackhawks win it here on the United Center ice. Jonathan Taves, Patrick Kane help lead the way in that third period as the orders make it interesting. We'll come back to wrap and point to week six next week on Rogers Hometown Hockey. Visit NHL.com for league news, live games, game analysis, and...